There's probably going to be like 30 seconds of silence waiting for this, for the thing to show up. There we go, 15 seconds. So, I want to show off these last 14 pages and then get the wardrobe item and monster completion up to 100% and then yeah. But it looks like it wants to continue being silly. Um, so, let's see it. Let's, shall we close that, or I don't know, get rid of YouTube quick, should we try it again, they got them, right, let's go, yeah how nice of you to be nice and quick now, yeah, of course you are. So I had to go into two separate parts. No, it'll slow back down again in a minute, but no, anyway. Ah, uh -uh. what is this? A mask of Mui. I should be honest, but I'm not doing it. There's Urgent Kasama, of course. Good old blue stuff. What are you doing? Lovely jubbly. Ooh, Zen Zen Long robe. That's from uh John Quest Eleven. <laughs> that was one of the uh, appearance ultimate equipment uh, that's needed there. But anyway. Lovely jubbly. Of course, I'm just skimming through it. I do apologise about the hesitant rush. But of course, I want to show them all off. I mean, I'm tired of this playthrough now. But at least it'll go out with a bang. With the legacy bosses, which I am actually looking forward to. I might rage at some of them. Like Zoma. I think by the looks of him, it looks like he's supposed to be Jima from Dragon Quest V. Well, I know Miss Jima or Gemma, I'm going to pronounce it, because it's it's 1M instead of 2Ms. It's like Gemma's in Gemstone, and then A at the end, so it's Jima or Gemma. Um, but if he attacks the way he does in Dragon Quest V, oh, damn, boy. Oh, no, back in a second. Well, I am back. Everything magic, hundred percent. Lovely. And a complete item list, but I mean, I practically had all of them anyway. It's just the war. It's just the wardrobe, wardrobe stuff that was weird, but you know, that's fine. And boom. That should be it, right? I'm not sure, but we will see. Yep. So if you look at those stats, that's pretty broken. Uh... But you know... Of course, I'm going to give you a nice little uh, insight to the uh, legacy bosses now before I end it. So here is Dragon Quest 1's Dragon Lord, the original boss. Not good, not good. Here we've got Mauroth, Dragon Quest 2's. And I noticed to the, to the two words, disruptive wave, and I'd switch off. And here we've got Baramos. The Dragon Quest 3. Boss. Currently working my way towards that bitch. And then we've got Zoma. I'm struggling, I'm struggling to see any any Jima in him, but it looks like it looks like he does. It does look like it, but he's paired with Pissarro, which is Dragon Quest 4, so I don't know. 
And you've got S Stark, which I know is the DS super boss of Dragon Quest V. And of course you've got Nimzo himself. He is a absolute bitch. Powerful magic spells. Disruptive wave. Heals his wounds. Ugh. And then we've got Murdor. Who I can only assume is like S Stark uh, for Dragon Quest VI. You've got Mortimer, who is, I think, I believe, yeah, he is definitely the final boss of six. Spoiler alert, do apologise. <laughs> and you've got Nocturnus from, I guess, Dragon Quest Seven. I know, I know all good demo definitely is from Seven. And then, of course, you've got Dormagus from Dragon Quest Eight. Fantastic Dragon Quest. And now, now it, it was sitting atop Lonely on the throne, but now Dragon Quest XI is sitting right beside it on the throne of Dragon Quest. And you've got Rapthorn, who I think is maybe a... Maybe a super boss for Dragon Quest VIII, I'm not sure though, but, you know, everything is here already for tomorrow. And of course, if we head over to the treasure maps, you know, I've got Baramos, Zoma. Wait, can I get rid of one of these? Yeah, I can get rid of the. So now I've got these nine. There could be the four others. I won't be able to get the four others easily. Uh, but hopefully, I get them from this. So I mean, I can try and do it in order. So of course, I'll be doing it: Dragon Lord, Maoroth, Baramos, Zoma, I've got Pissaro, so it would have to be um, S Dark after that. Then more to more. Then Nocturnus, then Orgadema, then Rapthorn. <laughs> so I'm missing Dormagus, Nimzo, um, Psaro, and the one, the other one from Dragon Quest VI. I don't remember. I don't remember who it is. But anyway, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of. Dragon Quest 9 in the next episode, I will be doing the final battles, where I will be going through everything as much as possible. Of course, got everything here. Look at that lovely jubbly stuff, all the items in the world you could wish for. Fantastic. But anyway, as I said, thank you for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode where hopefully I can finally wrap up this bloody game and defeat the legacy bosses to send a good farewell to this game. I mean, it is a fantastic game. It's one of the best games I've ever played, but at this point, you know, I just want it over. I'm ready. I'm ready to send this game off to the great beyond. You can join the Celestials up at the top. Anyway, as I said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the final battles.